Hey guys, I hope you're having a great weekend. I just had a glorious day here. It got unseasonably warm and I sat on the porch and got my fill of vitamin D. I did not get my vitamin H today because we're doing two training sessions on Monday and Tuesday, so I took a break. I much need a break. And I talked to a lot of great people, some in Canada, some in Alaska. I really appreciated my time with you, helping you prepare for this wealth transfer through the foreign currency revaluation. So I'm gonna give you the summaries that I always do that you guys like. Uh, I ran out of time yesterday, so I'm going to do it today. Mark, or I did, I don't know. I don't know what I did yesterday. Uh, the Zoom last night was fun. If you want the replay, it's already up for the Miracle Manifestation members. So, you know, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know how you feel. Intel Guru, Mark Z, via PDK's question. Does the RV have to happen before Iraq ascends to the World Trade Organization on October 4th? Not but the dinar has to be fully accepted international currency all around the world without any restrictions. This would be a massive change. Um, Newshound guru Caperoni question. What if anything is Iraq? What if anything is Iraq doing to reduce the note count? Isn't a reduction of the note count required before a float can occur? It's very difficult for Iraq to reduce their money supply due to the current monetary policy. Remember the currency auctions are a balance between the dinars and dollars in order to maintain the exchange rate. Using dinar in international transactions would give them the freedom to unpeg and end auctions. I think the most important thing for Iraq is to do to to do is to diversify their economy, which if you pay attention to my Sandman intel, I'm the only one who has his intel summaries. They are doing that all the time. Um, I'll do a separate summary for that because I like to keep these summaries different from Mr. Sandman because Mr. Sandman's updates are too special not to just include his separately. This is Militia Man. It's amazing that what we're talking about is specifically being addressed in a little more blunt and accurate manner. Um, security, stability, combating corruption, supporting investment in Iraq. These are the things every single investor of the Iraqi dinar and even in their stock market should be fascinated with because the trade that's going, that's going to go through Iraq is going to be phenomenal. It's going to be unbelievable. That's a great report. Thank you for sharing that. And then Mark Z or Frank 26 question is article seven or eight needed. Article eight will automatically come on once article seven is official. In other words, it's the next step that they walk into under the United Nations Security Council. And then you've got um, news hound intel guru mountain goat about the World Trade Organization ascension. The articles told us months ago that they were in the final stages and so they are all ready to go. They only want a currency that can be international prior to making the final move. They don't need the currency to revalue only reinstate to be in the World Trade Organization, but we know they will revalue when, when they do reinstate it and go international. I repeat, they do not have to have to RV. No mandate for the WTO says they do only need to reinstate. That's an RI versus an RV. An RI is a reinstatement of what it was when they devalued it, which I believe is with 322. A revaluation would account for inflation over the last 20 years, which would be probably more than four, I'm guessing. But that's my own declaration. Um, it says, but they are choosing to significantly revalue when they do reinstate it. So we are good. So guys, that's the summary in how many minutes? Three minutes and 32 seconds. I hope you like this summary. Please comment down below. That is the news as of today. October 1st is a brand new month. Do you feel the new energies? I do. I feel a lot of energy, but I also was overwhelmed. So I took a break for a couple hours. Didn't go see the horses. Instead, I just did nothing. So keep me in your prayers to keep my energy going to bring you all these summaries every day and to get get through helping everybody get through this successfully and freely in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm a Christ, I was a Christ child kid. I hope you will join us. Please subscribe, tap the bell, join us on my channel where we go coffee and conversation every morning and we just keep you updated in a summary style for, fashion so that you can still work and go about your lives like my husband and I do. He's a firefighter, EMT. I former corporate executive, former auditor with Pricewaterhouse, uh, got left the corporate world when Jesus showed up in my Jeep and changed my whole life. So I've been here with my husband ever since, but I love you all with the love of Jesus Christ. I hope you will join us. God bless. Have a good rest of your Sunday night. Talk to you later. Bye.